What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to simply be answering one of my buddy Muhammad's question on YouTube. He simply asked a question regarding custom audiences and being able to segment certain purchasers, um, customers that are buying, people that are not buying, and how to really work all that out when it comes to your pages and custom audiences through your Facebook business manager. So today, you guys, I'm going to drop my two cents. I'm going to drop some knowledge and really, really give my give my take on 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 answering this question so if you guys are into facebook ads if you're into landing pages email automation anything online to build your business whether it's capturing leads making sales you guys are in the right place my name is david i've um, been out here in san diego my whole life and been dropping knowledge on this youtube channel for the past few years really just day in the life of, of training clients on facebook advertising and and landing page automation so if you guys are into that stuff if you're a small business owner if you're a real estate agent you're in the right place so subscribe smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below let me know you guys are active let me go let me know you guys are alive let me know you guys are picking up what i'm freaking dropping all right guys so let's get into muhammad's question i'll kind of walk through it um and and, and break it down piece to piece by piece and and really again give you give you give you my best answer on how i will approach it how i would approach this to really optimize my audiences and marketing um online so let's get into it this right here, you guys, is what it's all about. Custom audiences. Every time I'm on a training call with a client, every time I'm bringing on a new coaching client, I cannot stress enough. I always teach them and I always, you know, iterate in a way where 99% of all this Facebook advertising, online advertising, Instagram advertising, any, any kind of online paid traffic, in my professional opinion, 99% of it is all about custom audiences, being able to retarget those who engaged with the previous ad, whether they clicked on your ad, whether they, they went over to your checkout page but did not purchase, whether they watched your video online but did not click, whatever it may be, every single little point is a data point. Every single little form of engagement is, is something you need to be capturing. And that's why when I'm, when I'm coaching clients, I say all the time, I say, man, it's not all about the lead. Like when you're spending money and you're, 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 you're paying to get people to see this post, right? You're running paid traffic online, whether it's LinkedIn, TikTok, it doesn't matter, any platform. When you're running ads, most of us, well, at least most of you guys watching this damn video, most of us are after one thing, and that's the lead or the sell. Right. So if you were to run an ad, it's all about that lead or that sell. Right. That's what most think. That's how most are thinking. What you're not thinking of is the data. Right. The engagement, the audiences, the people that are engaging, but not taking the full blown action of making the sell or making the purchase or even opting in to become a lead yet just yet. Right. But they're showing interest. They're engaging. That's what it's all about, too, you guys. You got to understand that you're paying for that, too. So you have to take it seriously. So in this case, what he's asking, he's saying, he's saying, so in this example, you're attracting people who visited the thank you page and then will and then will create a custom or lookalike audience. But suppose there is a service based business and on the thank you page, we also give them an option to buy <clears throat> right now, whether you're a service based or product based e-commerce, whatever. This applies for any business. So here's here, here's the deal. Let's say, for example, let's say, for example, this is one of my one of my sales pages, right? Let's just say this is one of my well shit, it, it actually is my one of my sales pages. But but as as someone comes to this page, right? This is this let's let's call it a sales page, right? A sales page. Okay. And then they come down here and then they can buy at 1997, right? Here's my full blown training course. Um this is what I've been doing for the past few years, but let's say, let's say they're on this sales page and they click and end up coming to a different page, which it's not connected yet. It's actually this page right here. It's actually this one right here, secure checkout. So as that person were to click the orange button, they would come to this page right here. This is the, this is the, um, the order checkout, right? This is the secure checkout. This is what we call the add to cart page. Okay. So here's the deal, Muhammad. What you would do is, let's say, for example, they purchase, right? So they purchase. They're on the add to cart page. They purchase, and then they land on the order complete, right? So now they're on this link, order complete. This right here, this order complete, is my custom conversion. It is a custom audience. 
the add to cart page, which is what we call the secure checkout. So when they're on the sales page and they click that button, you need to take them over to a completely different page where it's a it's 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 the add to cart page, right? It's the actual order page. Call it secure checkout, call it order page, whatever. But this is a whole different link, right? So inside Facebook, this is a custom audience and it could be a custom conversion. Okay, so you could be running ads and telling Facebook, hey, I'm running conversion ads and I'm trying to get people here. That's one testing point you can for sure test. That's one data point you can test as you run Facebook ads, test that for sure. Add to cart, um, custom conversion to the add to cart page. This is an add to cart page, right? The, the actual order page. And then also you can split test with the actual order complete page. So setting this up as a custom conversion, running ads, con Facebook conversion ads to this page, custom conversion to this page. And that's, those are two pages, two custom conversion pages that you can, you can for sure test. Now, both of them, both of them are custom audiences, right? So not only are they custom conversions, but both of them are also custom audiences. So in Facebook, you want to be able to come over here into your ads manager and set up custom audiences. Let me show you that part. So in my actual ads manager, you guys, you want to come in here, click the three lines, go to audiences, right? <clears throat> go to audiences. So in audiences, you'll click this blue button, custom audience, and then you can create an actual audience. This is what it's all about, you guys, are your custom audiences, being able to track those who were engaging with previous ads. You got to be able to do all that, okay? So if you don't know the exact step-by-step -step, um, um, process on setting up custom audiences and custom conversions, I'll link those two below. So watch those two videos right below in the description. Custom audience, how to create, a, how to set up a Facebook custom audience and how to set up a Facebook custom conversion. Those two specific videos are right below. Um, so let's say we were, we're already past that, right? So, so now we have those two audiences. One audience is the add to cart, right? And then the other audience is the order complete okay so now muhammad he's asking he's asking um um there's a service-based business and a thank you page we also give them the option to buy and link it directly to our service page or package page on website for super hot leads to buy right away perfect now my question is how do we track those audiences um they are already at the thank you page but but also clicked on link and went in onto website and purchased the service. All that is, Muhammad, is simply custom audiences. That's it. So, so is there a way to track those customers and possibly, and possibly, and 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 possible way to make a custom audience and look like audience out of those? Yes, for sure. Um, now the look alike audiences. Let me touch on. The, but but the answer is yes. I'm going to show you. Um, when it comes to lookalike audiences, the lookalike audience is based on those who land on your thank you page, your order complete page. So for example, I just purchased your product, right? Or service. I land on the order complete page. This is a custom audience, right? After you get, I think it's now a hundred. After you get a hundred, it could be 50 still, but I think, but, but just to be safe, a hundred. Once you get 100 people to land on this page, legitimate customers, right, that have landed on the order complete page, once you have 100 people land here in this quote unquote custom audience, you then turn it into a lookalike audience. And now Facebook goes out there and finds millions of people that look just like your customer, right? It's absolutely insane. Lookalike audiences are what it's all about. So when you're looking at these top gurus running ads, the Russell Brunsons, the Dean, um, um, what the hell's his last name? Um, shit, you know what I'm talking about. The Tony Robbins partner, um, Grinoski, what the hell? I, I forgot damn Dean's name. Shout out to Dean, but damn, I forgot your last name, bro. Um, but the Dan Henry's, the freaking, the, 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 the Tony Robbins, these top, top marketers that are running ads to us. And, and if you're following my channel, you're probably following all these other online marketers as well. So, these guys, these guys are, are running ads to us and they're targeting lookalike audiences. So if, if you didn't, if you didn't necessarily engage with their content before, but they're running an ad to you, chances are you're in a lookalike audience and Facebook knows that your similarities are just like their customers similarities. So they're, so, so you're, so you're, tar you're targeted, right? So lookalike audiences, you guys, is what it's all about. 
you have to get X amount, get a hundred, get a hundred people to land and become a customer, turn it into a custom audience, which it should have already been a custom audience and then turn it into a lookalike and start targeting your lookalike, start running ads to a lookalike audience. That's how you really scale the, these Facebook ads to, to, to the moon and, and, and beyond. Um, so, so, so let's get on to it. So here's, here's the deal. You, you set up your custom audiences, you got your custom conversions, but that person has landed here and now Muhammad is asking, hey, can we also get them to purchase something right here, right? He's saying, he's saying um, um, link it directly to our service page or package on website for super hot leads to buy right away. So let's say, for example, there's a link right here. Let's just call this, um, let, let's call it this link right here. Let's just say right here. Let's just say my Facebook page right here, boom. Let's just say you're on yours, Muhammad. It says, click here to buy now. Boom, I click. Now I'm coming out to a second page, right? Now I'm coming out, and this is a dead link. I'm showing you guys just basic pages that aren't even active yet. But let's say, for example, you brought me to another page where now, now I can buy something, right? So that's what you're saying. What if I take, after the thank you page, what if I take them off and, and, and have them purchase something? Wherever you're taking them, custom audience. That's it, custom audience. Wherever you're taking them, custom audience. So, so if this is where I'm taking them, I would take this link. I would only, I would only grab this part right here, right? I would only grab that part, not the WW, not the HTTPS. I would grab that, come into audiences, create audience, custom audience. I would go website, hit next. And then I would go specific right? It's specific. It's not all website. And then the third, the retention, you can go, you can go 30 days. I would recommend 30 for sure. All that means is, you know, Facebook will keep, keep these, these people in the audience for 30 days. Anything over that is kind of, is, is kind of too long, but, but, but basis on your sales process, right? Depend on your sales process. Everyone's a little, everyone's sales process is a little different. So if you think 45 days would be great right there, okay, well then, then, then do 45 days, but you kind of have to ask yourself, okay, well, shit, things that I've clicked on 57 days ago, if you clicked on a website 57 days ago, and you've only clicked on that website once, do you remember what website that was? Hell no. Right. Like, I don't remember websites that I clicked on three minutes ago. Right. Like I'm browsing, I'm clicking on random shit. Like, I don't know what the hell I clicked on yesterday. Right. So 30 days for a person to remember you after clicking on your website once 24 days ago. Right. It's, it, it's kind of a long time as well. So 30 max, you guys. So here's what I would do. I'd come in here, paste in that link. Now, this is, let me give it, let me give it an audience name. This would be, this would be, um, um, upsell. This would be upsell, upsell after <clears throat> upsell on thank you page. Okay. Now here's now, now pay attention to this one, Mohammed. That's what the, the name of this audience is, right? This is the audience. This is the, the, the link that, that, that they come to after they click on my thank you page, right? So they, they, they click, they're now coming to purchase something different, right? So that link goes right there. Now, that link, wherever you took me, there's also a thank you page for that, right? So now here's where you get little ninja with it, where you really dive in and, and narrow it, narrow in your targeting and, and, and be very specific. You also want to get the link for that order complete. So you just, I just went from your regular thank you page to now an upsell, boom, custom audience. Now I'm buying the upsell, right? I just put in my credit card. I landed on the thank you for purchasing our upsell. I land on that page, right? So now let's say, for example, this is forward slash thank you. Thank you for purchasing whatever. Thank you for purchasing next product. Thank you for purchasing our eye cream, whatever the hell you're selling, right? So that would be whatever thank you page they land on after they purchase the upsell. That link would go down here. So let's start from the top again. We got people who visit specific pages. Leave that at 30. That's the upsell page, right? Um, we named it right here. Upsell, upsell, thank you page. Upsell on thank you page. 
Now, here's what we want to do, though. Here's what we want to do. As we put in the link for the, for the order page, for the upsell page, they haven't purchased yet, right? They haven't purchased yet. They simply landed there, okay? Now, what we want to do is narrow it in and exclude, exclude anyone who actually purchased it. So this is a specific audience, and I'm going to max this up, at, max that out at 180. The purchasers, the customers, I'll always max it out at 180. So now I'm going to paste in that one, right? That's the thank you for, per, actually, I spelled it wrong, but you know what I mean. You, you, you get the idea. That is the thank you for purchasing the upsell, right? So now here's what I would do. Upsell on thank you page. That is the the, the audience of those who landed on the upsell page, right? Who, la who landed on the upsell page. Now, why would that be important for an audience? Because that's, those are people who landed on the upsell page, but did not purchase. Those are super hot leads too. They already purchased your first offer, right, Muhammad? They purchased your first offer. Now they're landing on your, on your, on your thank you page. Thank you for purchasing our first offer, right? So, 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 so that's fine. But then they click and land on, 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 on the upsell page on the upsell page. And now they're thinking about purchasing the upsell, but they didn't because you're going to have X amount that, that, that land there, but don't, but don't, don't purchase it. But it's like, dude, they landed there, put them in an audience. I can retarget that audience in the future, right? I'll pull out my phone. Hey guys, this is David. Hey, I noticed you. I noticed you. You clicked on our upsell page. Well, I wouldn't call it upsell, but you know what I mean. I noticed you clicked on our promotional product page, um, but for whatever reason, you didn't purchase. Let me kind of break down the benefits and advantages of, of purchasing now and why this is so urgent. Um, let me explain it to you now. I could put out a simple video, a simple ad targeting that specific audience, um, and be right on point. Now, that audience isn't going to be the biggest, right? That's not going to be the biggest audience because, because you'd have to get you'd have to be getting a shitload of sales, right? A, a shitload of sales on the first on the first sell, right? On the on the on the front end, on the first sell. I'm getting a shitload of people to buy and land on the first thank you page, right? But only X amount are actually going to click and care to go look go look at the upsell right? Only X amount of your customers, right? So that's not going to be the biggest audience depending on, dep I don't know, right? You could be crushing it. I don't know, but, but I'm just, I'm just, you know, thinking out loud. Chances are that's not going to be the biggest audience, but it's still an audience and you might as well capture that audience. Now, here's what you do now. Now that audience, again, are those who, who landed on the upsell page, they landed on the upsell page, but they did not land on the thank you for purchasing the upsell page, okay? And that's the link right there. So, so as I take that link, let's go, let's go back over here. As I take that link, the actual, the actual thank you for purchasing our upsell link, right? Now what I would do with that one is I would put up another custom audience. So this is going to be website. And now this is going to be specific on the customers, on anyone who lands on a thank you page. Thank you for purchasing product one. Thank you for purchasing product two. Thank you for purchasing upsell number nine, whatever the hell it is. I'm always maxing that one out. Okay, 180, 180. I want them people to be in this audience forever. 180, right, is the max. And all I'm going to do is paste in that link right there. And I'm going to name this one, um, audience name, upsell, upsell customers. Customers. Okay, upsell customers. Boom. So now I have an audience of those who landed on the first thank you page, right? And then I have an audience who landed on the upsell thank you page, right? And that's my upsell customers. So now as I move forward and as I continue to run ads on that specific product, I would exclude the customers, right? I would exclude these customers. I would, I would exclude um, 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 even, even the first customers upsell on thank you page. Cause these people, these people landed on, these are customers, right? These are people who landed on the first thank you page, 
right? They landed on the first thank you page and then they clicked and then they landed on the upsell thank you page. They just haven't, they haven't landed on the thank you for purchasing page, right? So these are audiences, you guys, that you want to include, you want to exclude from your targeting. And this is how you really narrow it in. Now, obviously, Facebook is going through a bunch of random shit right now. And, and who knows exactly how accurate this data is now moving forward 2022 and beyond. That's why you always have to keep learning. You always have to keep your finger on the pulse. And you have to be ready, ready to pivot, right? So if you're new to the channel, I've been dropping content on this um, um, Facebook ad stuff for, for quite a few years now. Um, and, and who knows, I may be teaching a whole other platform next. So, so, so keep, keep your eye on the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already because YouTube ads are crushing it. I'm following mentors just like you guys are following mentors. And as we continue to evolve and get better, um, that's what this channel is really going to be all about is, is paid advertising, whether it's Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads. I'm going to kind of keep it on that topic, um, helping real estate agents, helping small business owners really navigate through this online paid traffic era that we're in. So if you guys are new, again, subscribe, drop me a comment below. Muhammad, let me know if that worked, man. Let me know if that makes sense. Um, having pages, you guys, are, are the most important. So I always tell people, I say, man, if you're looking to build a business online, you have to get at good at two things. These are two things I tell clients. These are two things that are part of my, my, my product, my, my, my products within my business, right? My services that I offer. I tell people all the time, there's two things that you have to learn. If you're a small business owner and you're trying to build something online, social media, the internet, whatever you want to call online, you have to have two skills. I truly, truly believe this. I truly believe this. You have to know paid traffic. You have to know Facebook ads. I truly believe that because if you don't know it, you're going to be paying somebody else to do it. Um, and I truly believe you don't need to be paying somebody else to do it unless you have a shitload of money and you got a good budget and, 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 and you could delegate that to somebody else. You're super busy. Well, then cool. Do that. Delegate it. Pay somebody. Hire a marketing company to run your ads. I truly believe it's freaking easy. I truly believe that you need to learn it yourself. You have to learn it yourself because even when you do get to the point when you can delegate it and hire somebody, at least you'll know what the hell they're doing, right? Like right now, if, 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 if a Facebook ad or an Instagram ad guy came to me and said, David, I'll run this shit for you. I can call him out on his bullshit. Like I, I see it all the time. I can call people out on their bullshit because I'm like, dude, <clears throat> that's not right. Like that doesn't go there. Like you didn't set up this part, like, right? So I can see... I can, I, I know what to look for, right? That's one huge reason. But then the, the, the main reason you need to learn it is because it's freaking easy. So it's like, you don't need to be spending no marketing budget paying somebody else to run this shit for you. You have to learn it yourself. So that's number one. If you're an online marketer, if you're a small business owner and you're new to all this stuff, number one, you have to learn Facebook advertising. Number two, you have to learn landing page software. So whether it's ClickFunnels, whether it's Kartra, whether it's lead pages, whatever software is out there, you have to learn it, right? You have to be able to put together basic landing pages. You have to be able to tie email automation to it. If you're in the services business and you're taking appointments, you need to have some type of online calendar where people can click and schedule a call, right? Basic stuff like this, your tools and the skill of the advertising is really all you need. So in my case, I focus on learning Facebook ads. I stay in the trenches and then, and then, and then my software, I use one software for all. So for my pages, for my, for my checkout page, for my email automation, for my online calendar, for my affiliate marketing, for hosting my membership course. So if you're into digital courses and selling your knowledge, I also do that within this one software as well. And that is Kartra. So in Kartra, you guys, Kartra is the one software that runs my entire business. So not only am I able to track this on the, on, on the Facebook ad side, Mohammed, but I'm also tracking it through my Kartra system because as these customers come in, let's say, for example, the moment they purchase, right? They just purchased, they were on the order, on the order page, they click, they just purchased, they landed over here. The moment that transaction took place in Kartra, that person's tagged based on a tag is, is, is that next email goes out based on the tag. So, so if that person purchased the first product, but they didn't purchase the second product, there's going to be a tag that filters that lead to make sure that that lead gets the appropriate email and, and so on and so on. So as, as let's say, for example, let's say, for example, Mohammed, you have a person that, that, that just purchased, they land here, right? But they didn't purchase the upsell. 
right? So you're taking them over here. You're having them click. They're going over to your package website and buying some other random shit. Let's say they don't. They don't. That person would be tagged. So, so they're tagged that they landed here, but they're not tagged that they purchased the upsell. That is so important. So the software you guys are using to do all this shit is the most important. I truly believe it. Facebook ads, software. Those are the two things you guys need to be learning. Because if this was done in Kartra, Muhammad, I would be able to tag them, them people. I know who purchased the first product. I know who did not purchase the second product, the upsell, based on a tag. So therefore, my emails that go out, hey, John, just wanted to follow up. Hey, this is David. Hey, thank you so much for ordering our first product. But I noticed you didn't get the upsell or the promotional pro program that we had going on. Hey, let me add a little bit more value to it and, and, and give you five reasons why you're going to want to purchase this next product now. That email would have went out to those who did not purchase the upsell. But how would you have known that, right? How would your email automation would have known that? Tags. Kartra does it all, man. So there's a 14-day trial in the description. Profit with Kartra Online. For anyone that jumps on the software with me, I give them my time for free. Um, you can schedule a call with me. We'll jump on. I'll help you with your funnels. I'll help you set up everything free of charge. I don't charge for any of that. I also host free Q&A Kartra calls every Wednesday and Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific. Um, actually, no, no, I take that back. It's 12 p.m. Pacific. At 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Every Wednesday and Friday, I'm doing live Kartra Q&As where it's just like this. You come with your questions. I come with, your, with, with the answers, and I help you solve the damn puzzle of putting your pages together. So click on the link below, you guys. You'll get an email right away from me. And Mohammed, I hope that makes sense, man. Segment your audiences through Facebook, right? Each page is, an, is its own custom audience. Um, the add to cart page is a custom conversion. The thank you page is a custom conversion, whether it's an upsell page or, or this thank you page, whatever, they're both custom conversions. Whatever the order complete page is, it's a custom conversion and a custom audience. So make sure you knock that part out and then just, just make sure you have the right software. You have to be able to tag these people um, because when your sales don't come in, not all your cells are going to come in right here, right? The moment someone clicked, they purchased right here. Not all of them are going to come in that way at all. The back end is your email automation. That's where future cells and the rest of the cells will come in from your email automation. But you got to be able to filter these people to make sure they're getting the right, the right emails. All right. So I hope that made sense, you guys. Shout out to Mohammed. God bless you, bro, for asking, asking the question. Um, I thank you humbly for allowing me to, to create this content around that. So keep, keep bringing them, you guys. Keep bringing the questions, and I'll keep breaking it down and bringing the answers. I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.